Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Craftinoon Tea. So today I'm going to show you how to make this autumn garland. So I've got little acorn shapes here, but you can do whatever shapes you like. You might choose to do different ones. So all you're going to need is an old book, a piece of coloured card, and um, I've got a sort of brownie colour here. If you don't have that, you can paint it um, to fit your design. And also a piece of string and a bit of PVA glue to put your pages together. So follow me through and I'll show you step by step how to make this for yourself. Hope you enjoy this craft. So first of all, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to draw an acorn shape on some sheets from your book. So just get an old book, one that you're not using anymore, and rip out, I've got five pages here, um, but you can make the garland as long or as short as you like. So I've just sort of drawn a rough, ooh, shape out. I'm not sure if you can see that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to use this one as a template for the rest of my acorns. Keep a little bit extra at the top because then you've got something to glue the top of your acorn head to. So this is my basic acorn shape so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and draw it on the other four pieces of my book pages. Try and keep them all the same sort of shape and size. Um, but you could choose to do some bigger ones and you could choose to have some little ones um, in between. Have a little play around, see what you like. So once you've drawn all of your acorns out, number three. When you get a page like this where it's only sort of on half the page, maybe turn it over or pick another page. You want quite a bit of text to give it that look. Last one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut those out in a second. But I'm just going to show you the next step first. So I've got this coloured piece of card. It's sort of the top of an acorn colour. Um, if you don't have any coloured cards, you could always paint some, or you can go through an old magazine and find different colours and just get creative with what you have around the house. So I've drawn out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my acorn template underneath so it can size it up. And then I'm going to draw out the top of the acorn. And again, I'm going to need to do another four of these from my initial template. So let's just cut that out. There we go. So there's the top of our acorn. So what we're going to do now is 
is glue them together. So you can see this is our acorn template. I've got some standard PVA glue here. I'm just gonna, you can use a glue stick or whatever you've got around the house, glue gun. Just make use of what you've got. If you've got pencil lines, just make sure you've rubbed them all out as well. But you can do that before or after. Okay, so just make sure you've got it in the position you want it. And then pop it down. Make sure it's straight as well. The book page will help you <laughs> with that, with the lines of the pages. So I've got that all glued now. And what we're gonna need to do next is we're gonna need to put a hole either side at the top of our acorn because we're gonna thread some string through it. So I've got a hole punch here. So just line it up. And press your hole. Can you see that? So I'm going to do one the other side as well. Try and keep them even. But there we have it. So join me in a few seconds and I'll show you how to thread it all together once I've cut out the other templates. See you in a sec. So welcome back. So now we've got all five of our acorns cut out and ready to go. So what you need now is a ball of string. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to, this is the front of my acorn. So I'm going to thread it through the front so that the big strip of string will be at the back and pop it through there as well. And put it along enough because you've got to fit all five on there and you want to have them evenly spaced. So I'm just going to pop that down there for a minute. I might have to shuffle them along a bit further, but let's see how we go. So we're going to thread it through again through the front and back out this way. Okay. So let's get all five of them on there and then we can space them out. So I'm probably going to need to shuffle them along a little bit more. And one more, so make sure you've got a bit of a clear space so you've got the room to move where you need to. And you want to have a bit of an overhang so you can hang it where you want. So let's give it a little bit more room. Okay. Perfect. So once you're happy with your spacing, I want to have mine quite close together, but you can space it as much apart as you like. And then we're just going to cut off where you've got enough string to be able to hang it. And there we have our acorn bunting. So have a go yourself. Don't forget to share your makes with us and join us again for another crafting tea. Take care.